Citizens, welcome to the Form Titan Dock Sign video. In this video, I'll show you how to adjust radio element padding altogether or per value when displaying the element horizontally or vertically. So let's get started. Let's get a, a document over here. So we'll use a mm, Titan Demo Agreement. So there's my agreement and there's my data. Let's say if I got some radio buttons over, like this, and then I wanted to adjust the spacing between it. So, tell you what, we'll do this vertically first, and then I'll explain this horizontally as well. So once you've got the element, you can go to padding, and then you can adjust it. So you can adjust it all together, so you can say, you know, from the top I want 20 space, and from the bottom I want 20 space as well like that okay and then you can even say from the left I want 20 and then from the right I want minus 10 or something like that or 20 even so if I get rid of this now you can even have it from the right where it needs to be minus 30 or 20 so you can adjust the padding here completely like that okay so that's what the the padding for all values now you can also do padding per value, so you can select, let's say item 1, you can say from the top I actually want this to be 50, and then from the bottom I want this to be 20, actually or 1, you can even say 40. So you can see now that when adjusted top, it's top 20, bottom 20, and then I know it's already, <coughs> excuse me, I know it's, sorry, 50. So the top is 50, bottom is 50, we can do 50-50 here actually. And then you can even do left or right, I can say, you know what, go right by 10, or 1. And then you can go right by 20, like this. You can even say, actually go to right by 50, like this. So you can adjust the per value as well, as well as um, adjusting top to bottom as well. So remember, for all values, you would use all values. For per value, you will use per value. And we can do two. For example, we can say, you know what, go to, go to left, uh, let's do 10. And then for value number three, let's do minus 10, or five. And then for value 4, we'll do 20. Like that. Okay, so this is how you do it. This is how you set it up. Now, you can do the same horizontally too. So let's say if I got the value and then I go to general and I set this to be horizontal. And then I, let's say, do count to be 4. Now I can adjust this completely. Okay, so if I go back to padding, I can say for all values I want the margin to be 20. And the bottom I want it to be 20 as well. And then for all values I want 10 to the left. And all, i say I want 10 to the right. Like that. Now I can also do per value, I can say 1, you know, I want this to be 10 to the top, or 1, and then I want 10 to be towards the bottom as well, okay, and then let's say I choose item number 2, we can, actually let's do item number 3, we'll say towards the bottom I want it to be 1, or oh, actually 10, Or let's do let's do top actually just like that and then again I can move the padding the left or right wherever I want really it's completely up to me so you have that full functionality so 10 you can do 30 like that you can even do 50 you can do even 60 so you can completely modify that per value or for all values and that's found under the padding for the radio button 
and then you can do this horizontally or vertically as well.